I might not agree with why you don't want kids that ain't your blood, but I do get it. I really do. And I've just been trying to be honest with you. I don't... I don't want to get pregnant because I'm... because I'm scared, Zach. But it might... It might change. Mightn't it? I mean, I might feel... I might feel different about it in the future. Yeah, but how long do I wait? I mean, like you said, you might change your mind, but there's no guarantee. Look, I'm really sorry, but I can't risk losing my chance, and I can't ask you to make a promise you can't keep. So, we are, please just get out now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Despair of you. I've had Whitney in tears after all the negative things you've been saying to her about adoption. I just don't think I could cope with a kid that might feel the same sense of rejection that I did from my birth parents, you know? I get why you'd want your own kids. But did you even think about how hard it was for Whitney to bring it up after everything she's been through? You know, being adopted by Den and Angel was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. And from the sounds of it, your foster family's all but saved you. So don't you think you're being a bit hasty? Maybe, but... Sharon, not all the kids that came into my foster parents' home could be fixed with love and a roof over their head, you know? Some of these kids I was in care with... I saw stuff. Proper dark stuff. Do you not think that Whitney's been through enough about having to deal with all of that? Yeah, I get that. But it's not your choice, Sam. You cannot make the decision for both of you. Someone took a chance on me, and on you. They gave us a roof over our head, made us feel we belong somewhere. And I can't think of two better people than you and Whitney to do the same for a child. You make me feel at home, Whit. And, um... You make me feel feelings I've never felt before in my life, not even with Nancy. So why do you keep wanting to throw it away? We could have been good parents. I ain't willing to go through life w without... I know you want kids of your own, you've said that. No. We, I ain't willing to go through life without you. And you was right. All along, if you've got two people who love each other as much as we love each other, then we'd be brilliant parents, wouldn't we? If they're our own kids or not. What are you saying? Don't say that. I know you're just saying it because you know it's what I want. No, I ain't. Listen. Look at what we've been through, come here. We're solid, me and you. We could make a kid feel like... like I did. Like I had somewhere to call home. We could. It's like, oh, what are you saying? <laughs> Shall we do this, Whit? <laughs> 